Welcome back guys to another episode of Stay Motivated. Today, I got one of my friends that I ride with often. He sold his Kawasaki 450 and decided to get a 252 stroke. And the best part is it's one of the OG ones, the Honda CR250R. So I wanted to share with you guys. He wanted me to take it in, clean it up. He's ridden it a couple times and he said it's just it doesn't feel quite right how it should so we're gonna take this apart double check this you already know we're gonna take the carburetor apart we're gonna clean all this out he said he already did that but i'm gonna do it my way we're gonna i think i have some leftover hoses we're gonna put some new hoses we're gonna figure out where this nipple goes sometimes it's not good to leave these ports open it's probably not his fault he just had this he just bought this bike, so this is probably a previous owner. But it's good to have at least a hose, or if it doesn't need a hose, block it. Because sand gets into here, carb something quick. So, sprocket looks good. Doesn't look, doesn't look like a wave when these teeth look like a wave. They'll legit look like that. They'll look like a ninja star. So they'll go from looking pointy like a triangle to like that. So when they start looking like a wave, replace them. It's got a case saver. That's awesome. I'm not sure if this chain needs attention because it hasn't had grease in a while, but I'm gonna WD-40 it. And I have a little trick to kind of clean it up first. So if it doesn't clean up how I like it, I'm gonna replace it for him. It's got a pro taper rear sprocket. I'm not sure how many teeth. I'll look into that later. Oh, 40, I think that says 49 teeth back there. Outlaw star. I'll look to see what the front teeth sprocket is but overall this is a great buy got an awesome deal on it shocks not leaking that's a huge plus i'm going to take the seat off in a, in a little bit before i wash it just put a, a towel over the filter he said he was going to buy a pipe for it because it's got a little ding so that'll be another thing i see some leakage right here this is why i like to wash everything i assume it's just probably leaking from the exhaust flange because right now it's not starting he was riding it a little bit so i'm gonna look it i'm gonna look it over double check that there's not just water sitting in here hopefully we'll put some ice some ice stuff bleed the forks if he hasn't already and double check the fork settings because people love to play with these so anytime you purchase a new dirt bike i always recommend go back to the manual if you can find one and set them back to factory specs so you're just riding on somebody else's settings same thing with the rear shock you adjust that here and then then down at the bottom on the other side so this looks good we got a nice slider gonna need one at the top for sure a skid plate he likes to ride this he likes to ride motocross so we're gonna need to get a skid plate for this I like the little red strip carbon fire there this looks nice I'm gonna I'm gonna straighten the wheel just to make sure it's completely true and aligned and balanced. It looks like it's straight, but I'm gonna double check. Make sure the forks are in balance as well. We're gonna go through this. See, look, this shouldn't be like that. We're gonna take this off, fix this. We're gonna go through, and you see how this has a gap here? This gap shouldn't be in the front. This gap should be to the back. So we're going to have to go through and check these. Good thing it's got the CR highs. This is the most preferred bar. It told me you had a crack in the gas cap right here. So I'm going to check if it leaks. And by doing that, I'm just going to pour water in this cap over a bucket. And if it doesn't pour through the crack, then it's not going to leak fuel so that's one that's how i'm going to check that but overall man this is a pretty mint bike i like this i can't wait to work on it i'm going to roll it outside right now and you know you already know what i like to do with all my projects 
I gotta wash them up. Everything turns on in the garage, which is awesome. So let's get started on this one. Cause I wanna hear this thing on. I haven't heard it on yet. So he just rolled it on over to me. Put a new tire on it. This thing's a beast. I think I'm gonna have to get this for my, my dirt bike. Mine came with Bridgestones. So that's a, that's a whole nother mess. So let's get started on this. Legit was racing motocross with no rear pad. Let's go. Talk about dedication. <laughs> Woo! Bikes back in the garage. I dried it off real quick with the compressor. Everything's nice and clean, looking good. I love how she's cleaning up. White plastics are looking good. Don't mind the vacuum cleaner my wife over there cleaning her car. So, well, the reason I got this bike right now is that my friend wants me to look it over because in the time he had it, he took a hard spill on it. So I'm here to make sure everything's back in order since, you know, I, I kind of, that's my baby. So he wants me to kind of put the same love I do to that bike onto this bike. First things first, these handlebars are crooked. Like, he took a hard hit. Look how crooked these are. So, and these aren't easy to bend, so you can imagine. He's, he's got a couple, he's hurt right now. He's got a couple ribs broken, and, but he'll be back. So, good thing is he's alive. And if you know this game, you just get up and do it, get back up and get on it again, man. He said since that since that crash the bike hasn't turned on so first things first I always like to do is take the spark plug out just to see how it's been reading and what how it's been running if you get a good reading from that I'm gonna check what the air filter looks like in there I see it's a little bit off right here hopefully that's not a big deal if there is I got this right stuff seal for that so We'll figure that out later. I don't know if this is a big deal or not, if there's sand and crud making its way into here. So if it's clean, we're good. I'm gonna add a carb hose to this. Okay, we got some, we got some color. That's awesome. I love seeing color. If you guys have put straight water in your dirt bike, shame on you, man. You don't do that. Do it the right way. So I'm gonna double check his front brakes, make sure everything's adjusted properly. The clutch has a nice play to it, but I'm gonna make sure that's 100. We got the brakes pad, I was working on that because this was locked up, so it's not locked up anymore. Took the brake pad out, so I gotta push the piston back in, kind of make sure this is working correctly, and if I gotta bleed it and change the brake fluid, we're gonna do that as well. This takes a dot four. Hope you can see that, dot four fluid. That happened to have some up there, so. And all the dirt or whatever stuff that's been in their trap for the past couple years.
brakes that my friend brought me to put on here. These look beefy. Wow. So amazing. This is what they were. This is what they're supposed to be. <laughs> There's nothing on there. That's insane. There's no meat. Nothing. Look. Crazy. Ah, oh, these don't come with shim guards, so I guess I'm gonna have to reuse these. Now that we have the axle bolt in, you can see how clean everything is now. See the markings, there's no crud in here. Clean. The bearings look clean. Re-greased, axle, axle bolt re-greased. Looking awesome. Nice and clean. All right guys, what I'm doing here is bleeding the brakes. I'm keeping this cylinder full. I took the cover off. And what I mean by full, I'm flushing the fluid. This is that old stuff that was in there. And this is the new stuff that's coming out. So I just started getting pressure back in the pedal. So I'm going to continue doing this. And how I'm doing this is I've been pumping it a few times. So kind of whatever air has been built up for the with the old brakes that were in there and I hold it and then I unlock it over here and it pushes the air bubbles out. So while I have this down, I tighten this back up. I release over here, up, and then I repeat the procedure. Hell yeah. Put this back on. Now we're gonna seal the top of this. Make sure it's completely clean. And when you fill this brake fluid up, fill it up to this line. Because I had filled it up a little bit higher, but think this is a little plunger. So think of it when you put it up to here, this plunger is going to push the fluid up even higher. So it do doesn't matter as long as it's not at this low line and it's right here, you we're good. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. It's getting a little dark out, but tighten the rear bolt up to 50 foot pounds first and then I torqued it up to 70. We got some spin action now. We got some fresh brake pads in there. New fluid, dot four. And she's coming along nicely. Looking clean so far. So, for the next one, I'm going to be taking out this carburetor, cleaning it apart, and seeing what we're working with. We haven't started it yet, so just now that the rear caliper isn't locked up anymore. So, that's out of the way. Now we can work 
with a little bit of peace of mind on what's going on with here because it was running at one point it's just after it's crashed it stopped so i'm assuming there's something stuck or something broke off in here so we're gonna get into that and on to the next episode you guys already know stay tuned like and subscribe and stay motivated until next time